The Gary Yamamoto Senko is truly one of the best bass lures that has ever been created. Whether you are just getting started in bass fishing or you've been fishing for 40 years, a Senko is a bait that a lot of us have caught a lot of fish on. And I don't know what it is about a Senko, but what I do know is that it also catches really big fish. Not only does it catch numbers of bass, but this is one of the best baits that we have that is really simple to fish that catches really big, big bass. Now, a lot of us know the traditional ways of rigging and fishing a Senko, but in today's video, I wanna give you four different rigging options that you may have never tried before that can catch a lot of big bass. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Now, the first rigging option that I have for you is what I call the jig head wacky. This is something that is really simple, and if I'm being honest, it's a little bit stupid looking, but there's no doubt that this catches a lot of fish. And what you're gonna do here is you're simply going to take a jig head that has a weed guard, just like you would on a traditional jig, but without the skirt, and you're gonna hook this thing right through the middle, just like you would any other wacky rig. Like I said, if you look at this thing, you kind of think it looks a little bit dumb, but this is a phenomenal way of catching a lot of big bass. And something that it really allows you to do is it allows you to kind of have that wacky rig presentation, but be able to fish it in a lot of heavy cover and in a little bit deeper water. Just a few years ago, there was a Bassmaster Elite Series event on Lake Fork in Texas. And one of the Japanese anglers that was in that event caught most of his fish in this way. Now, if you know anything about Lake Fork, it is filled with standing timber and a lot of different brush and cover under the water. So fishing the Cinco in this way was, a, again, a great way to fish that wacky presentation, but fish it in around a lot of cover. Now, when it comes to where you can fish this particular rig, I really want you to think of this rig just like you would a jig, a standard jig and pig. And what do we do with a jig and pig? We pretty much throw this thing everywhere. You throw it up underneath of a dock, you throw it in an offshore brush pile, you throw it on offshore rock piles, you throw it all over the place. Now, now there are days when you go out there and you're jig fishing and it just seems like you're not getting a lot of bites with that jig even when you know that you are around bass. Now using this kind of stupid jig head wacky is a great way to fish in those same areas but get a lot more bites. And the best thing is you can throw this on heavy tackle if you want. You can fish it on 15 pound line, 17 pound, even 20 pound line if you really want. Now, real quick, speaking of Cinco's, right now at Omnia Fishing, you can get your standard five inch Cinco for 30% off. And this is a deal that is only going on for today. So if you're watching this when it has just been published, you can get 30% off any of the five inch Cinco's that are on the store. So I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description, click on Omnia Fishing. It greatly helps support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. Now, rigging option number two is a PD rigged Cinco. A number of years ago, a professional bass fisherman named Pete Tilveres actually dominated a few events with a rig that he nicknamed the Petey Rig. Now, this particular rig, in my mind, is like a finesse Carolina rig, and it's something that I typically fish in pretty shallow water. To rig this bait, I'm gonna take my line and I'm actually gonna add a bobber stopper. Then I'm typically going to add a fairly light weight. A lot of times an eighth ounce, a quarter ounce is all I'm going to put on this line. Right after that weight, I'm gonna add another bobber stopper. And then I'm gonna have about a foot to two foot of line. And then I'm gonna tie on my worm hook where I'm gonna take my five inch Cinco and add it on there. Tech Texas style. Now, like I said, if you look at this rig, it's basically like a finesse Carolina rig. And this is something that I like to fish typically in pretty shallow water. A lot of times when we fish Carolina rigs, you're fishing a three quarter ounce weight, uh, an ounce weight, and I'm fishing it in 15, 20, 25 foot of water. This particular rig, I fish it a lot in three to eight foot. That's kind of the zone that I really like to fish this particular rig. And this is a phenomenal rig if you are fishing in grass situations. A lot of times when I am fishing in grass, a standard Texas rig 
comes to mind. And that's a great bait, but this is a way of presenting a Cinco in kind of that weightless fashion, but be able to fish it effectively through grass. Typically, I'm gonna throw this on a bait cast rod and reel with about 15 pound fluorocarbon, but if you wanted to, you could fish this on a spinning rod and you could use a really lightweight, like a 16th ounce weight with 10 pound fluorocarbon, and that's also a really effective finesse rig. Now there's a lot of different plastic baits that you can put on the back of a PD rig. I've had a lot of success with using just a standard chigger crawl style bait as well, but a Cinco is a great way it catches a ton of fish. Now the third way that a lot of anglers simply don't think of fishing a Cinco is just on a shaky head. When we think about fishing a shaky head, we think about fishing really small finesse worms, sometimes seven inch worms, sometimes four inch really skinny worms like a zoom trick worm. Now that is obviously a phenomenal way to catch bass. But another thing that you can do is thread a Cinco onto a shaky head. If you guys follow professional fishing at all, there's a guy named Keith Poche. And Keith Poche, this is his absolute favorite way to fish a Cinco. He put, simply puts it on a shaky head and he'll fish it on bait cast equipment. A lot of times with like 12 pound fluorocarbon line. So with the PD rig, we kind of had a finesse Carolina rig. Now with this style of shaky head, it's more like a power shaky head. Instead of fishing it on a spinning rod, which I don't always necessarily love to pick up a spinning rod, although I do it often, you can now fish a shaky head, but fish it on bait cast equipment. This is a really effective way to catch bass in very pressured bodies of water. As a matter of fact, all the, the rigging options that I've said so far have been great ways to catch bass in really highly pressured bodies of water. I fish a ton of highly pressured bodies of water. I'm gonna probably say that you do as well. So the next time you're thinking about picking up the shaky head or you're fishing in a highly pressured body of water, Think about putting that Cinco on there first. It's just gonna get you a lot of bites. Now, the fourth way of rigging a Cinco is what I'm gonna call a bladed Cinco. A number of years ago, I was fishing down in Florida with my uncle, and we were both flipping and pitching Cinco's in a lot of reeds and vegetation. The only difference in our rigs is that he had put a very small little blade on the back of his Cinco. That day he severely outfish me and the only reason that we could come up with was because of that small little blade. Now I did a full video all about putting different blades on your plastic style baits which includes the bladed Cinco and I'm gonna leave that video linked right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I think you'll like this one as well. Please don't forget to check out Omnia Fishing to get 30% off and I'll see you guys in the next video.